In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about the double spay, a natural successor to the single spay. The single spay has one movement before we make the forward cast. The double spay has one, two movements before we make the forward cast. It's good for when you've got heavy flies on, sink tips, something like that, because it keeps the fly in the water, keeps it out of the air. Now, to start the double spay, I'm gonna face 90 degrees across the stream. I'm gonna lift nice and smoothly and turn my hips to face upstream. And we've brought the tip of the fly line just a rod length away, okay? But we've got a problem with it. It's pointing downstream. It's not pointing across stream. So we need to fix that. Now I'm gonna introduce you to a, a term called the spiral staircase. I want you to imagine that you've got a spiral staircase and it starts here low and you come round and it spirals around you to this position. And that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna imagine a spiral staircase. You come, you start on the first step and you come all the way round and you climb this imaginary spiral staircase around you. Okay, imaginary spiral staircase around you until you get into the D-loop position and make your forward cast. Lift up, bring the tip up, spiral staircase around and make our forward delivery. You'll see that there's actually some line rip, what we call line rip. You see that, that little bit of white water that skitters across? I've heard it being called as a running mouse, like there's a mouse skittering across the surface. There's our anchor. There's our spiral staircase and there's that running mouse. That running mouse is a visual indicator when we want to make our forward delivery. What do I mean? There's our sweep upstream. Here's our running mouse and then it stops. The running mouse disappears. That's when we make our forward delivery. It stopped. Now we make our forward delivery. I actually heard something then as well, which is a bit interesting. When the tip of the fly line changes direction from pointing down to facing across, it makes this little gloop sound of water and you can actually hear it. That's another great indicator when to go forward on the forward cast. Let me do the cast properly. There you go. Spiral staircase, ah, the running mouse stopped and I made the forward delivery, okay? All waterborne anchor, uh, uh, casts have this running mouse element. There it is, it stopped and now we can make our forward delivery. We can see it and we can hear it. Ninety degree double spay. Now I want to show you the path the rod tip takes when it does the sweep part. This is the sweep part here. I want you to imagine a plane coming into land. The plane doesn't come nose first and dive down, does it? The plane comes in on an incline like that and the rear wheels touch first and then it gently lands and it's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to use the incline sweep. Lift up. Don't lift up too high because we've got nowhere else to go. And we just pile the line on the water and we create slack. Unstick the line, but then incline sweep. And did you see the way the tip of the line landed first and then the rest of the line Landed upstream, just like the plane on the runway. Lift up, landing gear down, up the spiral staircase, and into your forward delivery, which is the roll cast we know. Lift lower, incline sweep, come round. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but the line had much more purpose, much more line speed. I was able to get and uh, a tighter loop and fire underneath those trees there. So I always use an incline sweep on a double spade. 